Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can redirect from one Lightning Web component to another Lightning Web component. So in this video, we'll be discussing two ways of doing this functionality. One is using an Aura component because we have to use is URL addressable to redirect to it to another one. So we'll be using is URL addressable, which is available in Aura. So that's why we'll be using Aura component. And second is like without using an Aura component, just redirect one LWC to another LWC. All right. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil your host and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right guys, let's start today's video. So for this requirement, basically I Googled it and I found a very interesting article about it. Uh, so today we'll be testing your functionality. So I have already tested it of course and Today in this video, I'll explain like how you may use it like if you're having this kind of scenario where you have to redirect to a lightning web component from a lightning web component. Okay, so let's start today's video then. Okay, so guys, we'll be building this functionality from scratch. So let's open LWC. So for this example, guys, what we'll do, we'll create lightning web components like we will be having from LWC and we'll be having two LWC component. Okay. And guys using that, uh, like from LWC, we'll be passing the, uh, I mean, we'll be redirecting to two LWC components. So, yep, that will be the functionality. Okay. So, and also like uh, there will be another component to LWC using Aura because like uh, in this video we'll be going we are going to try two methods one is with aura and one is without aura okay so we'll be using both of them so let's build our components first we'll create a lightning web component and let's name it navigate from lbc okay now guys in this component i will just simply create two buttons like first will be to navigate without aura functionality and second will be navigate with aura functionality okay so let's create So I will quickly create lightning buttons. Let's name it navigate without aura. Okay. And we'll take another one. Which will be navigate with aura. Okay. Now we'll be having two functions for them like navigate without aura and navigate with aura. So uh, let's create on click. Navigate. And this will be navigate without aura okay so this will be basically the design of my component guys because like we'll be having two buttons only here okay now let's move to the javascript part so in javascript part guys first we will include the navigate mix in to navigate the component so we'll import navigation navigation mix in okay from lightning navigations here it is uh, why it is including c in it lightning navigation okay it just look fine now all right let's save it and copy the function from so 
So this is navigate with Aura and navigate without Aura. Okay, so we are having two functions here guys. One is to navigate with Aura and the second one is to just navigate without Aura component. Okay, now guys we will be creating another component which is going to be our component to which we are going to redirect uh, from this okay so we'll name it like uh, if this is navigate from lwc so let's name it navigate to lwc first okay so let's create another function another lightning web component and let's name it navigate to lwc so this will be the target component basically and in this target component let's just have a custom text and let's say i am the target <laughs> okay yeah this will look good all right guys so this will be the designing section of that uh, target component okay now there will be another target there will be another navigate to lwc component where we will be using the aura one okay so for that guys we will be creating an aura component and in that also we will be using this same component okay so let's create an aura one now create aura component okay yeah, let me do it this and let's name it navigate to lwc aura okay so guys in this aura component we will just implement the is url addressable first so let's implement is url addressable okay and then we'll include the um, navigate to lwc component here okay so we have added this here okay now what we will do we will go to our navigate from lwc component and from that component guys we will be redirecting it to this navigate to lwc using aura and without aura okay so let's go to navigate from lwc first okay so this is our navigate from lwc so here we are having two functions like uh, the first is with aura and the second is without aura okay so let's do the functionality in navigate with aura first so to navigate with aura we can use it like this then navigation mix in dot navigate okay then to navigate it with aura we will use a type first and we'll use a type standard component okay and then we'll pass the attributes oh. Suppose I have to type it <laughs> and an attribute we will pass component name which is C navigate to LWC aura. So basically that's how you may navigate to an aura component from LWC so this is the same functionality I'm having here so you may use it wherever you need to navigate from LWC to an aura one okay and of course in that aura component I'm having my LWC also so basically it will display the same functionality okay so let's save it now we will work on uh, navigate to LWC without aura 
this is the function okay so let's create a component definition first and we'll put our component in here which was navigate to lwc and attributes we don't have to use attribute because we don't have to pass any other value here okay so we'll use this only so this is the definition okay this looks good all right guys now we have to encode the component definition to uh, encode a string to pass it using the lmc so we'll prepare an encoded string here encoded definition now we will encode it to base 64 so we'll do json dot stringify and here we will add our component definition okay now we will use the same navigate mixing so let me just quickly copy it from here and paste it here so the type will be a standard uh, web page here so guys we are using a standard web page because to navigate uh, to navigate to somewhere we need a URL and for that we'll be using any standard URL here so basically we'll be using the app one okay so here like previously we were having component name and now instead of component name we will have a URL and where will we have having the one app okay then hash and then we'll pass our string okay then we will pass the encoded definition of the component okay yep i believe that it is now let me just add this component to a record detail page so for that we have to add the xml definition also for this component so let's make it is exposed first okay now we'll add target and let me quickly just copy it from my another component let's just copy this navigate from lwc okay all right so seems like we're good here let's deploy the code quickly And also open the default org. Okay. Okay, we are having an error here. What it is? It is an XML, I believe. I think I did not copy it correctly yes i missed this targets let's save it again and try to push it and where we'll be adding it let's add it on maybe account detail page i mean this is just for testing purpose so maybe we can add it anywhere it is deployed i believe yes so let's go to edit page okay let's make the detail tab by default selected yep now let's add our component here it is navigate from lwc added it here the design 
does not seems nice but still i mean this this was just for testing purpose so i mean definitely you will be modifying it as per your requirement okay click 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 What if we will we add another BR here? I'm just going to add a new line because I was able to see like the spacing between the button was not correct. Okay, let's go back and okay. So let's refresh. Yeah, it has added the spacing. All right, guys. So this is navigate without Aura, and this is navigate with Aura. So let's try it. Okay. So somehow the buttons clicks are not working. So let's double check the function. So navigate. Okay. So now I just realized like I'm having wrong function name, but I I believe like this is not the issue why it is not working. There might there might be some other issue as well. So first let's fix the function name okay so the function names are fine now now let's go to javascript the code and other things are also looks fine oh i, I believe uh, yeah so guys to use navigate mixin you have to extend the navigation mixin here as well so for that you may just add it navigation mixin like this and like this you can add the lightning element inside it so let's quickly save it deploy it and hopefully it should work now okay let's refresh the page all right guys so now when we will click on this navigate without aura it will redirect from this lightning web component to another lightning web component without using aura component and if you will click on this second button which is navigate with aura so it will redirect to another component using the aura component because we are using is url addressable in it okay so let's try this one first so we are trying navigate without aura first okay so you see guys the component has been navigated to the target component which was uh, navigate to lwc and you may notice the url here so the url is completely different here i mean if we are using navigate with aura navigate without aura sorry okay so this is the url while you are using navigate without aura let me show you the comparison between the urls as well so let's save the url here so this is navigate without aura url okay so let's do this like navigate without aura okay now let's go back and try navigate with aura so if I'm clicking on navigate with Aura, so it is redirecting me to the target component, but with a different URL. So so this is the URL while we are using navigate with Aura. Because guys, while we were using navigate with Aura, in that case, we were just passing the component, the Aura component directly, which is possible like to navigate to another Aura component. But while we are doing it from like LWC to LWC, so we, we were passing the encoded base64 data with our component and we were using the standard web page for that. So this is the one app in which we have passed the standard, uh, sorry, we have passed the base64 encoded string for the component. So guys, uh, that it is for today and uh, that's how you may just redirect to a new lwc component from your existing one from lwc to lwc thing and also like uh, you can redirect from lwc to aura as well using like navigate with aura thing okay so that it is for today guys and if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i will be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcegold.com so if you need the complete code you may just directly go to that blog and check that out all right i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching